Okay, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dr. Stephanie, your life coach and physician. And this is What's Happening Wednesday. And what's happening this Wednesday is that I have this box that I am unboxing, right? So, a lot of times we think about, okay, um, self-care. <laughs> and what are the things that we need to do to make ourselves happy? But also, how do we remain fiscally responsible? So I had this conversation with myself when I was trying to decide if I wanted to make this purchase. Uh, like, how do I figure out if oh, the, the self-care aspect of it is worth what the financial investment would be? And so what I decided, clearly, because the box is here, is that an investment in myself is worthwhile if I can stay within budget. So that means, I think Jay-Z said something, that you cannot afford something unless you can afford to buy it twice. So if you're looking, and, and I thought that that was really interesting, and my friends and I, we had this discussion, well, 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 that's not true because like you wouldn't be able to afford to buy your house twice or your car twice. And um, I, under I understand that point of view, but I think about those things as, I mean, we know that we can't purchase those twice because that's why we have mortgages and car loans. But if we're in a position to purchase a car in cash, we could still use that test. Is this the right car for me to purchase in cash? Um, can I afford to buy it twice? Um, so I, I still think it has some merit. And so when I considered this purchase, I did consider it from the standpoint of, can I afford to buy this and would I buy it twice? So what I have purchased here is a espresso maker. So this is the other thing that I did is I took into consideration that my husband and I drink Starbucks espresso like drinks uh, every day. And when you think about the cost of the espresso maker and then the cost savings from Starbucks, it made sense. And investing in myself and treating myself makes sense as well. So this is the unboxing experience and you know, I feel like I should have a better idea of where to go next. Uh, but I don't really know where to go next. The other part of the, the outer box went quite well for me. And now I'm trying to figure out this part. Okay, I'm just gonna go with the top. All right, that should make sense, right? Getting started, okay, so that's getting started. But doesn't it make sense that the top would be the thing that come off? I, I, I hope so, because I don't want to ruin it, I think. Hmm. Y'all, I don't know. It's feeling a little, let's see if this is coming off. It's feeling a little bit like there's something else going on here. Aha! Ah, and I was right. This comes off. So I don't have to rip that open. Okay. Yay. So we got this off. And I feel happy about that because I didn't want to ruin the box even though I kind of did a little bit to it. But getting started with your new TK1. I don't know if you can see that. It says, one, carefully place the espresso machine on a flat surface or countertop. Two, inspect the machine for any notable damage during shipment. Three, all good, great. Now fill a water tank to the top. Four, fill a bean hopper with your favorite whole bean coffee. And five, 
plug in the machine, flip on hard switch, and press down the illuminated ring. Once on and fully warmed up, you're good to brew. Okay, so one of the things I really liked about this was how sexy it looks, right? Um, having a nice, beautiful, sleek, modern, sexy appliance in your kitchen adds to the aesthetic of your kitchen. And that's part of self-care too, right? The smell, smelling the fresh ground coffee, the aromatherapy of it all, and the look, the beauty of it all. Okay. Okay, got that. Now, the great reveal, right? We get to take this out. Okay, it's not that heavy. Okay, take this out and uh -huh. all right. Just cut through the plastic. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Uh, so you can see here, this is the machine, Terra Cafe. This goes up and down for different size cups. Um, clearly I have to take out the packaging and the plastic and uh, put it over there with the other, with, on my coffee bar. And then along with it, is the milk canister, right? For your cappuccinos, your lattes. And there's a tube. So you put your milk in here, you keep it in the refrigerator. So almond milk, whatever type of milk. And then you hook up the canister to the machine and it froths it or whatever needs to happen for your beverage of choice. So that came with it. Yay, thank goodness. And then this box here, I ordered some coffee too, so I'm looking to see where the coffee is, but maybe they're gonna ship that separately. I hope not, because I wanted to use it. Got some other accessories, some other hose, um, scoop. This is what comes in the accessory box. Uh, so I did, I ordered some, Cleaning supplies, descaler, all that good stuff. Because if you're going to invest, you want to keep it in tip top shape because it is an investment. And um, yeah, so that, that's all I see. So they must have set that separately. So this is the unboxing of the TK01 Terra Cafe Espresso Machine. That's my investment. Uh, that I think is gonna be a smart investment. We'll save money on the Starbucks and, and all of that. And I'll also get the investment in myself through the aroma therapy of the beans, the aesthetically pleasing look, the taste, all of those senses. So that's it. I will let you know on my next What's Happening Wednesday, what it tastes like, how I'm enjoying the experience and um, all that good stuff. Bye for now.